You're watching Midwest Magnum. Welcome back. I'm Kurt. I'm Daryl. Today we're going to break down my ATI Bulldog Bullpup 12 gauge shotgun. Give it a cleaning. So we're going to show you how to disassemble it and clean it. Um, Finter Johnson asked us a couple weeks ago. We had this planned. Sorry it's taken a little while, but today's video, Finter will show you exactly how to do that. Today's video is brought to you by Central Arms. Central Arms offers retail gun sales focusing on special orders for hard to find firearms, ammunition, and accessories. We get a lot of our inventory from Central Arms and they're awesome. Visit their website at centralarmsmp.com. Step one, as always, make sure your weapon is clear. They concluded a manual with this ATI Bulldog it's kind of sad, so let's go ahead and wing this. I think we can figure it out. First step, there are three takedown pins. One is hidden by the uh, cheek piece, so we'll need to remove that cheek piece first. These are your three takedown pins. These are set up similar to an AR-15 in that there's going to be a detent, so don't try to drive these all the way through. You'll just end up breaking things. Separate the two halves. Surprisingly enough, for the amount of shooting we have done with this gun, and we have done a lot, that fire control group looks incredibly clean. Next step, remove the barrel shroud. We'll be removing these two screws. This is the supplied wrench. Once these screws are removed, the shroud is off. You can simply remove, slide it away. One thing to note, why I always use that term fluff and buff. When we first got this gun, we disassembled everything. And I did find that right here and here were loose. Now, I've already broken those loose again for right now to take it back apart, but these do actually hold the gun together. So it's good to take these apart when you first get them, go through these guns. That's why we're doing this video. There's, the instructions on this one are not very good. So we're going to go through this. So when you do, if you do have one of these, go through this gun. Make sure it's going to stay together for you. We remove. You're going to have two sets of threadings to go through. You'll note there's a rubber O-ring. This goes back towards the gun, not this side. The O-ring side goes back towards the piston. Next up, slide off your gas piston. These are your gas ports. You can see, even though it's been cleaned multiple times, these do get dirty again. Next step will be to remove your barrel nut. That's what this spanner wrench will be for. I've broken it loose, and now we can remove it. Now, slide your barrel assembly away from your upper receiver. Mm -hmm. 
Next, you'll need to remove the carrier sled. From there, you can remove your bolt and clean it. When you remove the action spring and this collar from the barrel, one thing to note, and it's not anywhere in the manual, but this will definitely cause you a problem if you do this in the reverse order, this spring is directional. This will go into this lip here. It fits correctly. If you were to put it in backwards, it's got plenty of room to slop around. This is, can only go back in one way. This is actually a very simple setup. This is very going to be very simple to maintain. It's just, there's not a lot of information in that manual. Once you've done this a time or two, this will be no, no problem for you whatsoever. This is actually a very simple, well-made gun. In case anyone's wondering what this screw is for, this is what catches the charging handle. When you put it all back together, the charging handle will be setting right here. When I initially did the fluff and buff, I did polish the uh, chamber and the bore using a four zero steel wool. But we've had some people ask, what does that look like? What does that entail? So I'll go ahead and polish that bore again. Just use a standard 12 gauge bore mop. And just wrap some steel wool around it. To complete polishing this and cleaning the bore, you do of course want to remove that choke. Put a little bit of oil on these two threaded sections, but you want to make certain as you put everything together, this gas piston system, you want no oil or grease present. Now that we've got everything cleaned and polished, let's put her back together. Start with the barrel nut. Next. Edge faces the muzzle. Is caught on this lip right here. Remember, as you put on the spring, this is directional. Take your bolt. Take the carrier sled, you slide it on, capturing the spring, and now you'll want to reach back our next step, reinstall the barrel assembly back into the receiver. Flat side goes here. Gas piston. Final step, put on the nut. Remember the O-ring faces the gas piston.
While you have this disassembled, is a great time. You can either use grease or CLP on the rails on each side. Clean up any excess and you're ready to finalize your assembly. It's always a good idea to use a little bit of uh, choke lube or, or grease on this to make sure these never freeze up on you. At this point, you're ready to put your fore end back on. Take some care that you don't scratch your barrel as you do so. There is a channel that you'll line up with that nut for the charging handle and the channels for the carrier sled. Your final step, return your end cap to the fore end. Return the two screws. Return the barrel shroud. Return your lower. Return your cheek piece. Now you're ready to test function. So as you can see, the ATI Bulldog is pretty easy to disassemble and clean. Um, Daryl did another fantastic job and we've been cleaning it, so there wasn't too much to clean, but it's about as clean as you're gonna get it right now. You won't find a lot of real you know, intricate information in that uh, owner's manual. There's no torque specs. You're gonna kind of do this by feel, but if you've got one of these things, you know. Do take it apart. Do check it because, like I said, the first time we we had disassembled this, it everything was loose. So it's not hard to work on. I didn't even make a mess on my white shirt, and this is ready for the range. The more take, the more you take care of your guns, the longer they'll last and the better they'll perform. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to hit the alert button. And if you haven't subscribed already, we'd really appreciate it. Yeah, what's your deal, man? Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the alerts so that you don't miss any of our future videos. And by the way, that logo right there, you can click that to subscribe. So show us how good your aim is. That logo right there, that one. Go ahead, click it.